Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today we're going to learn something that uh, I wrote and it's called, you know, I'm really not quite, quite sure what to call it, but I'm calling it like a, a simple and pretty finger picking ditty. And yes, do I have to rhyme? Oh, yes, of course, it's me, I have to. <laughs> so um, a lot of people ask me when I'm doing uh, like uh, ukulele reviews and things like that, well, hey, what, what was that that you were playing? And I usually just make something up because because one, I don't want to get a copyright claim, um, and two, I just um, I just like writing little ditties here and there. And this is going to be a part of a larger piece that I wrote for my daughter. But I'd like to show you just a little snippet of uh, what I'm doing here. And there's no bar chords. It's something very simple, very pretty that you could just pick up your ukulele and people say, "Hey, play something for me," and you're like, "This would be a perfect thing to play." So I'm featuring a Travis picking pattern and I have a video all about Travis picking for beginners. So I'm going to put that in the cards above in the description box below. Or if you came from a video that I have um, from my Don't Think Twice ukulele tutorial, I like to think of this pattern as every other. Now, of course, there are other Travis picking patterns that you can use, but with this one, we're just going to be plucking every other string. So my thumb is going to be assigned here to the G string. And it's also going to be assigned to the C string. Index finger is going to be assigned to the E string and then my middle finger assigned to the A string. So I'm going to first pluck on open strings. I'm going to pluck the open G string. Then my index finger is going to pluck the E string. Thumb will move down here, pluck the C string. And then we have my middle finger plucking the A string. So it's every other. Like that. That pattern is going to be consistent throughout this entire little finger picking ditty. I'm going to take fingers two and three on my left hand, my focus box, waha, whoopsh, like this, and I'm going to place it on the seventh fret of the A string and the E string right here. And then I'm going to apply that Travis picking pattern. Every other, every other. Like that. So let's try that again. So we have on 16th notes, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. All right, now we're going to place my index finger on my left hand on the fifth fret, and I'm going to lift off my ring finger. So now I'm on the fifth fret and seventh fret here. Same finger picking pattern, every other, and then strum once and hold. So let's try that again. One E and a, two E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Index finger. Hold, two, 
three, four. Now I repeat that again here on the seventh fret. Every other, every other. Now I'm here again on the fifth fret, lifting off the ring finger. Now here, I can lift off my index finger to give me just a little bit more reach. My pinky is going to be reaching here to the 10th fret. And then I strum all of my strings. So the entire section will sound like this. Now from here, I'm going to move down to the fifth fret with those same two fingers. And except I'm going to take finger number two on my left hand right here, and I'm going to skip a string and it's going to go one string closer to my nose to the C string. So we're still on the fifth fret, but we have open string, fifth fret, open string, fifth fret. Same every other finger picking pattern. Every other. cool chord. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> Every other. All right, now we're going to resolve to a C chord. I'm going to use finger number one, drop down to the third fret of the A string. All right, and we do that again. So this song has an A, B, A format. So we have the A part, which is on the seventh fret. And then this is the B part. And then we go back to that A part. So after we've done our I would drop down to the seventh fret here on these two strings and then resolve to a C chord. So this is how everything is going to sound together slowly. One E and a two E and a. C chord. 
as you start building your dexterity with your fingers and you start kind of building up your speed, we're going to introduce something called rubato. Rubato is just basically, it's free, you're playing freely. You're playing not with really a tempo. There's a really nice push and pull with how you're feeling, where you want to speed up a little bit and you want to back off a little bit. It just really May adds an emotional tone to what you're playing uh, because you know as we're breathing you know sometimes we have steady breaths and sometimes something just takes our breath away that's basically how i see rubato or just like the waves of a sea sometimes there's a steady rocking and then all of a sudden there's something that's just a little bit longer and then there's that steady rock again you know if you're in a boat things like that so if you can have a uh, a part where you first start off just at a steady pace and you start speeding up a little bit and then you back off a little bit it takes a little while to get used to something like that if you've never done that before and you're so used to a metronome but this may be something fun to try so if i'm at the beginning and i'm like So you hear like I have a, first I start off on a steady pace and I start to speed up a little bit and then I drop down. I speed up a little bit and drop down. Experiment with it because rubato, there's really no wrong way to play it. And I think that's really fun. It just adds a really nice emotional tone or character to the piece and rather than you know just playing straight to a metronome and it has no lyrics unless you wanted to add some let me know <laughs> tag me on instagram if you wanted to put some lyrics to this and a melody that'd be really really cool to this little finger picking ditty but have some fun with this especially when it comes to tempo and speeding up a little bit slowing down but first start at a slower manageable pace so that you can really get that travis picking that every other every other every other every other and then it just becomes Becomes a little bit more fluid the more fluid you are with it the more expressive you can be with it because you have more control so I hope you liked this let me know if you want to see more like this I do have dozens you've heard them before if you've heard my reviews you're like wait what is that what are you playing there <laughs> I would love to be able to teach them to you and uh, yeah I hope you have a wonderful day and remember that you are loved bye Following FTC guidelines, this ukulele was sent to me by Cordoba, but this video is not sponsored. If you are interested in this uke, I'm going to put that link in the description box below. That link is affiliated where a small portion of that sale will go to me if you choose to support me in that way and if you choose to shop through my affiliate link. So thank you so much. There's my FTC guideline and bye. All right. Ooh. Uh, yeah, um, don't know what to do with this, but anyway, hey.